So here, what, I, what I'd like you to understand is how thick this interceptor is. This interceptor was, this is a segment of the pipe that we cut out. Don't pay any attention to this. We just put this styrofoam here, this foam when we do the cut. But this is actually the pipe, the thickness of the pipe. So this pipe was built back in the 70s. You can see it's unreinforced concrete. It doesn't have any re-rod. There's no rebar in there at all. So it's, they just poured this pipe like this. This pipe is amazing, right? It's an, it's an amazing thing. But you have to maintain it. You've got to maintain it. And as I talked about how we have weepers and gushers and voids in the pipe because of degradation of the pipe, a lot of different things happen inside this pipe. One of them is what we call H2S. Because of the consistency of the flow that's in there, it creates hydrogen sulfate. Sometimes if you're walking somewhere over a manhole, you smell sewer odor. That's what that is, that's H2S. And that is a very high acidity, and it eats away at the pipe. So it just keeps eating it and eating it. You can see how rough it is on the inside of the pipe. But anyway, what I want to show you with this, this section here, this is a section of grout. So here you can see the pipe. All this is where we put in the, uh, uh, the cement grout. So we inject it. We have to uh, put holes in the pipe and inject the grout in there to seal the pipe. This is just one example of, you can imagine all this void this was nothing here, okay? So before we put that grout in there, the pipe had just been eaten away, and this is where the voids begin, and over many years, they manifest themselves finally in a sinkhole. That's what happened uh, at our other sinkhole, right? So you had the crown of the pipe, you had uh, a void, all the sedimentation was coming in, and that happens over many, many years, and all of a sudden, boom, you know, you got a sinkhole. But that's what I wanted you to see here is this grout. It's very, very important. We have done millions of dollars of grout in different critical areas. Some under, you know, like the ITC corridor here under transmission grids. Obviously, you don't need a sinkhole here. You can only imagine. We've done the same thing at critical areas where the interceptor runs under, for instance, the Clinton River at I-94 North River Road, just finished a lot of grouting there. Can you even imagine an enviro environmental catastrophe of having an, a sewage interceptor uh, collapse underneath the Clinton River or some of our major drains? So we really are, we've got to protect our investment in our infrastructure and that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm.